Hello everybody. So in this 200 kilometer long uh, hiking journey, we are now at our ninth pass on day eighth. This is the beautiful Kayurla. This is definitely one of the highest passes that we'll be crossing on this journey. This one is at 5,420 meters. And uh, now we are getting very, very close to Karzok. It is under 30 kilometers now. Good morning, everyone. Time is 6.20 a.m. It is super cold. Yeah, but the sun, the sun is about to shine on the slopes. It's a pretty, pretty windy and cold night. आज तो काफी लाइट हो गया अब खाना खत्म नहीं हुआ है अभी दर्द दर्द दिल दर्द Breakfast is ready. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Let's get on to it. Today we are starting a little late. It's 7 uh, 30 a.m. and we'll cross one of the highest passes on this whole uh, journey, which is Kayurla, which is at 5400 meters. So so let's see how it how it goes but it's it's a pretty bright and sunny beautiful day slept at 5000 4950 meters so you don't get a very constant thorough sleep keep waking up once in a while at night yeah. and there were dogs barking throughout the night throughout the night because those are guard dogs You can see the whole landscape. This is the campground of uh, Rajun Karu. And yesterday the Holam La was there, the last pass. Yeah, and uh, Omkar and Raj are uh, slowly climbing up. You can also see the road through which the shepherd get their supplies here. They'll stay here for uh, another 20 days, I guess. And by the beginning of October, everybody will be back in Chumur and Karzok. Pretty bright and sunny day. And uh, here's our pass at 5,400 meters. Yeah, our boys are... Uh, pretty slow today they're far far away it's even difficult to trace them in the frame so I think uh, uh, let me find them yeah so I think that's that's Raj right there and that's Omkar Whoa. And uh, we're almost at the pass. Again, uh, nice trail to follow. Nice and gradual climb. Beautiful views for sure. Yeah, so Kerala was exactly four kilometers. One hour, 35 minutes, the time is nine. So it's a good, good start to the day. Yeah, and see if you Cross the high altitude passes early morning, then they'll not be that windy. We are here at 5,400 meters. This will be one of the highest passes that we are going to cross on this uh, on this 200 kilometer long trip. And 
if we start early then you have the views to yourself it's not that windy you can actually hike in one single base layer you won't feel cold so yeah this was this was Kayula guys yeah, so I took a 10 minute stop here and now go forward now one thing that I find particularly unique is that uh, Pika the small uh, wild mouse the rodent family member they have their burrows here at at 5400 meters imagine they, they, they live here and uh, now it's very difficult to capture them because obviously because of their size and you cannot go very near to them but I've tried my best to document my time with this uh, <laughs> little share of wildlife that I got along this uh, beautiful long hike so I didn't see much marmots but I've seen marmots they live close to 5000 meters for sure in summers and uh, pikas wow they were they were running at the passes as you cross the pass and uh, they are here at, at 5400 meters which is pretty, pretty, pretty unique I would say I can't take my eyes off this beautiful glacier. This is so nice. The next pass would be this little hump, Costella. Take a quick break. 6.8 kilometers in the last two and a half hours. Now as you are approaching the next pass, uh, Katsela, you will uh, also be able to see the beautiful Spaknakri, close to 6400 meters. This is the beautiful valley and then again uh, this is the pass and this is Yalung Nong, another 6000. This is indeed a very beautiful valley with the river meandering through the through the landscape and there are some four shepherd huts yeah. and uh, let's see a bird's eye view of this beautiful landscape it definitely looks extremely extremely beautiful Now the weather doesn't look good at the pass, black clouds. Now we have just one more pass to do, Yalung Nong. And that's, that's right there. It has a gradual but a long, long approach where it would be nice if you could uh, just cross the pass before uh, 3 to 4 p.m. And you can see that the moment we get down from the pass, it isn't that windy 
anymore. And the weather is still holding up. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Pretty. Can you see that big vertical funnel of air whirling around the landscape? So we see a shepherd camp and this is the Loma Nala. What a beautiful place and a big big riverbed. This valley is pretty, pretty lively. You can see the shepherd camp right there. Yeah, and that's our approach to the pass. Some eight kilometers long. We'll first uh, get down, cross the riverbed, and then start climbing up all the way to 5,400 meters. You can even see the trail of the pass that we had crossed Kotsela, it's, it's right there and we descended down, beautiful. Now you see this big valley in the west, there's a beautiful pass called Lanyarla that can take us all the way to Pang from here and that one is definitely not mapped. So this again becomes like a potential hike for next year and uh, yeah, that's our pass again. And you can see actually shepherd hut number one, shepherd hut number two, there's one there, three, and uh, there's, there's another one uh, in, in just behind this ridge line. Wow, all unexplored uh, terrain of Ladakh and huge, huge potential in terms of hiking. Yeah, the landscapes in Ladakh are uh, huge, magnanimous, you can see, still see Katsela. This is how we came down and now we are uh, still climbing up. Now just before the pass, you can see all the peaks of the Gyama Massif. Look, really, really beautiful. Okay, it's the time. 
time is uh, 3:30 p.m. The landscape is super windy, and uh, super happy. And thank you so much that uh, you were there all along till this beautiful 11th pass. And now we'll go all the way down to Kaiso. Now these are the magnificent peaks of Lungser and Chungser Kangri, and this is the gigantic. 25 kilometers long, some four to five kilometers wide, long lake. So, Moriri, this is my second time to this lake this year. But this is a very different perspective, and I'm super happy about it. Yeah. And just to show you the sheer size of this lake, let's go to 10x optical zoom and just see how how big, how huge this thing is. Wow. Now, no matter how many videos I take, no matter how many pictures I share, the sheer beauty cannot be captured in the camera. And therefore, I would request you to just hike to this beautiful landscape and experience one of the largest lakes in our country. Now, you can see that Mento Kangri range has actually received fresh snowfall and this mountain looks extremely beautiful but they yeah, are super tricky as of now with fresh snow to climb this now that's where the pass was and now again we are walking on a on a jeep track some five kilometers away we've already done some 28 kilometers in the last nine and a half hours there's nothing much to document, it's a nice and flat walk. What a beautiful way to end the day. <laughs> Walking along with the sheep. We're about to reach Karzok. Up close to Karzok now and we can see a lot of camps here just before Karzok. Now guys exactly at 6 p.m. it's a touchdown road. Ten and a half hours we have done some 33 and a half kilometers with uh, some thousand meter of elevation gain. You can see a big campsite this is where the tourists usually come and camp. There are tents, there are cabins. Whoa. It's a big, big colony. Just uh, adjacent to the, to the village. And that's the beautiful Somoriri with its evening colors. We were uh, looking at it from a thousand meter higher up ground <laughs> and now we're at the same level in, in like just by getting down in the last three hours beautiful so basically near the village there are so many options so many options to camp if you if you like this uh, stuff staying in big tents yeah uh, this is the karzo gompa so that's it guys, 34 kilometers, 10 hours, 42 minutes, time is 6.10 p.m. and we have made it to, to Karzo. Raj is here, I think Omkar will take another 20-30 minutes, over.
Yeah, we are finally in Karjok. <laughs> so this 200 kilometers, eight days, beautiful speed hiking journey came to an end. I can see that my my nose is burnt a little, though I tried my best to keep my face covered all the time. <laughs> yeah, nicely done. We'll we'll eat something now. Super hungry. In the meanwhile, Omkar will come and then we'll just find a place to stay. Whew. That's the end. Some sugar. Ah, party! <sighs> nice. And from here we could have continued to Spiti by doing Parangla or we could have done Pang to Sumari but I have already done those hikes so that's where this trip ends Jule, welcome to Karzok <laughs> Nicely done, proud of you this is the situation of our trick pant and shoes. Yeah. Great. But I hope you had fun. Your first DIY experience, 170 kilometers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was good. You can tell the entire experience just by looking at my shoes and pants. <laughs> yeah, they are well used. Well used, yeah. yeah. Game off. <laughs> and this was new pant only. <laughs> <laughs> memories <laughs> memories good memories <laughs> nicely done and uh, I usually whenever we come here I, I stay in Goose homestay there's a very nice lady Ache and you have we have this big room this is the washroom yeah let's uh, freshen up and eat something <laughs> oh! I I did it and I did it M A T. Jimet, Jimet, Jimet. What? I I did it M A T. Jimet, Jimet. Jimet. Hello, Julie.